Okay, let me tell you about the first human that I've ever seen, all right? There's a bald Japanese man, and he's trying to shove his entire head into- People in the comments, you better make it fucking worth it. Run up these views or something. Tell me my look great today or something because I am supposed to be with Sephiroth right now. Let's maybe drop the ching chong. I hope one day your mom says that to me. She'd say, I like the good ching chongs. <laughs> Let me tell you about this revenge that I'm watching. It's not real, right? Did you not hear the first I'm just story saying, of the like, fucking just, Japanese bald man trying I to shove his know. entire head up into a Japanese okay. woman's? That's true. <laughs> this time you're sick and I'm not. <laughs> What's that? What are you trying to do? Breathe? Oh, <laughs> feels like there's no good airflow coming out from those stuffed nostrils of yours. I hope I get you sick. I hope I get you sick this time and you know how I feel. Also, I don't even know like why I'm here. I shouldn't even be here right now. There are more important things to do out there, Ovli. First of all, we still what? need to democratize the universe. And second of all... R.I.P. Malevolent Creek. Yeah, right? Oh my god, we lost it. Did we, we lost it? it. Yeah, we lost I it. I think we lost Malevolent Creek because there's all of these fucking like hackers or something out there who are, okay, or no, they're not hacking, but this is what they're doing. They're pieces of shit anyway. So this is what they're doing. So they log into Helldivers. They complete like one quick mission to like, uh, you know, to kill automatons. Yeah. Just so that they could do a quick thing in under like five, ten minutes, get experience, get credits, and then they leave that sector, which counts as a loss. Just for their XP? They need to they need to penalize that because what the fuck, man? Also, uh, like in more important news, Ovli, you are taking time away from me and the love of my life. Okay, Ovli, we were the love of your life. No, Ovli, please. I Let's thought what we had was special. Ovli, don't kid yourself. You knew what this was, Ovli. I took you to Korea. Ovli. Ah! Sephiroth is here, okay? Final Fantasy Bitch. Rebirth is here. Well, as of for all you normal people, it has arrived seven minutes ago. For me, though, I got early access. Okay, I got early access today at 4 p.m. I wasn't even supposed to stream today, but I got early access because I swindled my way into it. Shout out to Markman and Ibrahim. Thank you. I love you. Um, Mark, where's the hookup? Not her. Markman, don't don't yeah, associate Mark. yourself with her. Um, but they gave me a code, and I was like, oh, my God, yeah, I'm going to play this now. And then I started streaming it, but then I had to cut my stream short to fucking be here uh, for this bullshit. Do you know what time did you start your stream? Five. And what time did you say that you could have gotten access to it? Four. I had to download. And then I also had to go and run my motherly duties of picking up pet food. Okay. I came home, slapped makeup on, and I started streaming. And then I was in the middle of licking my monitor because Sephiroth was on it. And then here comes fucking all of like, Gina, we have to do our podcast. Like what? Like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Chat. People in the comments, you better make it fucking worth it. Run up these views or something. Tell me my titties look great today or something because I am supposed to be with Sephiroth right now. Listen, Sephiroth can wait. Sometimes can he? absence makes the heart grow fonder and the dick grow harder. Genova was absent. Well, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. He, his heart did technically grow fonder for her. That makes sense. Right? That's true. That's it does. true. It does. Yeah. It does. What's funny is that besides the one big death in Final Fantasy VII, yeah. I know nothing else about the plot. Mm -hmm. So nothing has really been spoiled for me. So maybe I will actually go through and play Remake and Rebirth. You should. I got through like the first three. No, I played maybe like five hours of Remake. Mm -hmm. But, and it's a great game. I didn't drop it because I got bored or anything. I think I just got distracted by something else. It's a... Uh, it's very good, but as all JRPGs, long as shit. It's because you didn't have that 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 tingly moment where you first see Sephiroth when you were a kid like I did. How old were you? Came out in 94, 95, I think. Oh my god, I, I didn't even come out yet. I believe it's 97, I'll double check. If you think about it, to the lesbian community, you definitely haven't come out yet. What? Since we're all so convinced. I w no, I mean out of... My mom's vagina. That too. You were just swimming around your dad's ball sack. Your first home. That's kind of gross. Now, do sperm actually just like swim? Okay, so for women, for women, we have all of our eggs inside of our tummies, like when we're born. Yeah. And then they just start falling out. Mine are falling out right now. It's a mess. So they start falling out. Do men also just start with all of the spermies in their balls or do they grow? Ian? Ian? Final Fantasy VII came out in 1997. Okay, so I was, okay, I was out. Uh, no, we don't start with all of our sperm. I believe a sperm takes about 60 days to mature. Uh oh. So you're saying that 
the balls don't just start like this big and then start to shrink as time goes on because that would be a pretty cool feature that does that mean that you keep like all of the extra skin though how much ball skin is there really and does it differ between males does it differ between races does it differ between you know what i mean like if we were okay so for vaginas right are all vaginas pink or can they also be different colored I usually can't tell because in hentai, everything is censored and so you just see pixelated, but it is pink. But like, I've seen other people's nipples and they're not all pink. Like, you know what I mean? Like, some of them are brown. Usually the lips match the nipples. That's what I heard too. I heard that your your perfect lip color is... <laughs> why did you open your mouth? I, I know. Like, why did you have to spread to see, it? You could have just... I was trying to see what... Oh, like the inside of the lips are mine darker than yours does that mean you're my teeth what does that mean for let's com let's compare vaginas like that's about the same it's about the same yeah, 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 yeah that's not bad does that mean that my vagina we're Asian. is chapped ew maybe Probably. after a really fun weekend oh Ouch. I need, I need oh, chapstick Jesus. a lot. Ew. God, Ollie. I've lost all fucking... Anyways, so... The reason why I couldn't stream any earlier was because I had to go to the pet store and buy some flightless fruit flies, Ollie. Some flightless fruit flies. Bitch, what are you feeding your animals and is this now animal abuse? You can't feed a husky flies, bitch. After Bang, what no he's done to me... <gasps> After what? Okay, this is all fucking multiple branch story here. Okay, I had to go f buy flightless fruit flies. That's a thing, apparently. Who fucking knew that? They have, like, they're tiny and they have wings, but they can't fly, which, <laughs> poor things, whatever. Anyways, it comes in a little, like, plastic to go box, right? And there's, okay. like, hundreds and thousands of them in there. They're tiny. Uh. Because this past weekend, while being sick, um, we found two jumping spiders in my house and I decided to make them my pets. Because jumping spiders are are fucking cute have you seen them Obviously. yeah on the bottom of my boot no okay they don't look like other spiders they're actually fucking precious do they have teeth maybe little teeny baby baby, baby uh -uh. Ones. listen you can't look at this and tell me that it's not cute i don't i'm not a big fan of spiders either but like these they're like the puppies of the the spider world and they're very friendly and they have personalities and they like they hang out with you and stuff bitch Ooh. what do you mean they have personalities look at, these, look at this what's that isn't that cute? Yeah, you know what he's doing? He's doing the fucking Heil right there. Are you saying that spider is a Nazi? I'm saying that spider is a fucking Nazi. Oh my god, Ollie, did I welcome a Nazi into my house? You just welcomed a fucking Nazi into your house. Is that what he does every single time you walk in? He throws his little arm up into the air? Hi, mom! Or should I say Heil, mom? Oh my god. I'm a Nazi sympathizer, Ollie. You are a fucking Nazi Holy sympathizer because you're also friends. Nope. I was going to say friends with me, but I can't, <laughs> I can't make that joke because then people will actually think I'm a Nazi rather than just getting the joke that my ancestors are German. <laughs> I apologize. I, I hope no one thinks that about it. You know, people thinking Ovli is a Nazi would actually be somewhere in my bingo card after all the shit that I've said on the internet about Ovli. You know, I mean, people also think that I'm a 35 year old, five foot six woman who has a size four shoe. What? Yeah. What do you mean? Some some fucking dude. This happened at G4 as well. Some dude made a Internet celebrity bio of me where they said that I'm like 35 years old. I'm five foot six and my shoe size is like a four. Bitch, does this look like a four? No, those are some I, fucking I feel stompers. like you were even shorter. This is a 14. I feel like you were listed as like 5'3 or something. That you're very clearly not. What the f You're like the tallest bitch I know. I know, right? I love being a tall it's bitch. crazy. I love being a tall bitch. I hated it when I was younger, though. Because sure. of all of the school dances and stuff. And like, you know me. You know my personality. This shit has been with me since I was born. Yeah. I've always been an intimidating bitch. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, like stature wise sure it's the moment that you open your mouth that that goes it's fine go ahead do you know how many people are actually scared of me you know what i can see that because awfully work mode oh i'm i'm the worst yeah you're the worst like i want to fight you every time I, I i work with you i'm just kidding I don't. but yeah no I, I can see it 
Only at places that I don't enjoy. Yeah. Not places where I do enjoy, like OTK. Thank you for hiring me. Let's go. Tune into the Games Expo June 4th on OTK Network. Um, No, 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 no. But like for me, when I'm doing projects or things that I feel very strongly about or passionate about, and I know that the rest of the team does not care, that's when I go into beast mode. Yeah. You're good at that. Yeah. I think I screamed at someone in the middle of like a midterm for my film class where they were on their phone. And I said, get off your phone because you're supposed to like direct your own set. It was it was film school or whatever. And this guy was on his phone when he's supposed to be on a camera op and he's missing all the shots. And he's like, dude, chill. It's just a class. Like, how do you expect to make friends this way or something? And I said, I ain't come here to make friends. That's the equivalent bitch. of like, that's the equivalent of like, dude, chill. It's not ranked. Oh, my God. I hate when people say oh. that shit, dude. I hate it. I was like, okay, so what? People still want to enjoy the game properly, not you being a dickhead. I just wanted to fucking Chill, end. Gina. It's just ARAM. Nobody cool plays ARAM. Nobody takes ARAM seriously. Fuck off, Gina. All right? It's not like we're playing on Summoner's Rift, okay? Only fucking losers are here at ARAM. Are you, are you quoting Avali there? Yeah, I remember Korea. ARAM matters too, Okay. <laughs> ARAM matters. A-Ram? Don't tread on me. No, this is what I'm going to say. ARAM is a fantastic game mode for all the pro players to fake spending time with their girlfriends. All of the pro players, you try to see when are they spending time with their e-girls? It's an ARAM. They're playing Sona. They're playing Lux, which is also my girl. So, you know, no harm, no foul it's there. Easy. There's only one. There's only one lane. That's all I really need. I don't yeah. want to have to the fuck is a jungler what are wards for the only ward i know is fucking ian that's the only ward we need are you doxing producer ian that that is my last name it's on his twitter yeah uh, and my steam i think <laughs> <laughs> i know right <laughs> <laughs> anyways I, so I, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh sorry anyways i got spiders okay so i went to go buy them flies to feed them uh josh is incredibly grossed out by it because, I mean, well, he, he's the one who found the spider. He's like, hey, I have this little jumping spider on my desk. He's really cute. He comes out every once in a while. And I decided to colonize it or whatever the fuck. I adopted it. I have a little um, uh, a little habitat, little plexiglass thing for it that I bought online. Cute. I'm going full. Is this like? Yeah, it is, huh? Is, is this like unemployed and sad at home and I'm just gathering animals? Like the wicked witch that in the cottage with a bunch of uh, animals. Look, no. it's, it's this or a baby, Gina. Oh, dude, no. Yeah. I would rather have Stick a with the pets. thousand little yeah. baby spiders in my house. I would take spiders over babies. Yeah, dude, absolutely. I would take, well, they're easier to squish. Exactly. And if I get bored of them, I can torch them and nobody would arrest me. Right? Yeah. Well, PETA would come after you, but they'd have to finish killing hundreds of dogs before, you know, they yeah. got to you on the list. They're busy. Um, so I have that. Um, so I just, I just, I feel like from the previous conversation, thank you for the high five. <laughs> You were like, oh, I'm frustrated with Judge. Oh, I don't know if, you know, Judge was the right call or anything. And then you adopt spiders instead. Easier. Easier. Do you know why, Ovley? Do you know why? These spiders eat little baby flightless flies that I give to them. They eat exactly what I give them. Not fucking Judge. The other night off stream, like when I got off stream, I hear Josh go, fuck, from the kitchen. I'm like, what happened? He's like, I was thawing out two steaks. Where are the two fucking steaks? <laughs> and you know what the worst thing is? The steaks were on the kitchen counter. Okay. Yeah. He, there's okay. Look, there's a fucking coup going down in my house right now. There's a mutiny going down in my house right now because I thought dogs and cats were supposed to hate each other. No, they have band together and conspired now because my cat now goes on counters to knock shit over so that they can all eat together. So my cat knocked over our our, our fucking Tupperware of steak thawing and then they all ate it together. And then there was saran wrap covering the Tupperware. And I'm sorry, where's the rest of the saran wrap? So then now we're in a panic at two in the morning. Like, oh my God, is our dog going to die? Because that can cause an obstruction. He can fucking die. No, he's just sleeping soundly away. And he's like the next day we're like watching his poop and watching him see if he's lethargic. He's fine. It's been five days and he's fucking fine. I'm still steakless. With a hole in my duvet cover. And a hole in my couch. Yeah. 
That's that's motherhood. Do you want a dog? I can't torch this motherfucker. Yeah, you know, I think I've got my hands full with this one. Um, he just, you know, actually Thresh never had a chewing holes through thing phase, except for, you know, the door when he has an anxiety attack. Um, but no, no, I, I t my dog is trained, Gina. I'm so tired, awfully. I'm my so dog is trained. tired. You know, one time I was raising butterflies, like last year. Oh, yeah, I remember. And then... Judge is a very gentle dog. Yeah, He's yeah, gentle yeah. with the cat. So I took a butterfly out in my finger. And I was like, Judgey, look, butterfly. And I was like, Judgey, no! <laughs> Pried his mouth open. Thankfully, he he gentle mouthed it. So it was fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what the fuck, dude? I mean, like, dogs can't really see colors. But I have a feeling that the butterfly was like a shade of color that he could perceive. And therefore, yummy. That's true. That's yummy. probably true. But yes, I'm at my wit's end with this dog. I love him. He's great. He's cute. But oh my God, I can't wait for him to go to college. Is he? Oh, you think he's going to go to college? <sighs> no. Yeah. There comes that point in every parent's life where they realize that their child may be just fucking dumb. Yeah. He's not going. He's going places, not college. Not college. He's, he's going somewhere. Fucking to the pound. Yeah. He's a shit ass dog. And then, so we're like, should we take him to the vet? It's like, no, I read online, like, don't take him to the vet yet. Okay, cool. We're fine. It's okay. Next day. Okay, so one family member doesn't need to go to the doctor. Well, Josh has been sick. Well, Josh was sick last week, okay? Okay. Lost his voice. He uh, was the one who gave you the cold. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. Why am I always, I am always the victim here. So, Wednesday night after our podcast, mm -hmm. uh, I go home and Josh is like very sickly and everything. His voice is starting to sound really weird. Not like this, but like, you know, how, like when your, your shit constricts and it sounds really like yeah, it was, it's good. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. I should know. I get choked a lot. Um, but what? So at two in the morning, right? Okay. So I decided to go to bed and, um, uh, so I'm like, you sleep in the bed cause you're sick. I'm going to sleep on the couch cause I don't want to get sick. Okay. Two in the morning, he comes out. He's like, babe, I think you need to take me to urgent care or something because this is not okay. I'm like, okay. So I can pack our shit up and get in the car and we go to the hospital. 2.30 in the morning. And then we're like, shit, what could it be? Is it the Rona? Already tested for that? Negative. Is this this weird new thing going on? Nope. So maybe it's strep throat. So we go in, check in. Surprisingly, the, old, the emergency room was not busy. Thank God. We check in. And then he's, and then like he got in within like five minutes or so. Damn. And, and I know, right? And then I just, and then I realized in this tiny emergency room, waiting room, it's just me and the shady ass man with a black plastic bag just sitting there like this on a chair across from me with uh, a mask on, a beanie, and a hood pulled over, right? Okay. And then, and then like the night shift isn't really like a full on night shift. It's just one lady at the counter yeah, yeah, yeah. behind her bulletproof <laughs> fucking glass. She puts a sign up. She's like, oh, I'll be back in whatever. So now it's just me and him. And I was like, oh, my God, I can probably fucking die here right now. Like, what am I going to do? I don't want to go to my car because I'll be sitting in a dark parking lot by myself. So we're like, if I'm going to die, I die closest inside the hospital. Yeah. If he stabs you, they have people. Yeah. But then his wife came out. She's like, OK, honey, let's go. And then I realized, oh, yeah, there's other people waiting, too. And I shouldn't judge people. So I felt like a piece of shit. Whatever. Anyways, besides the fact, five minutes inside, Josh texts me. He goes, they did every test blood whatever 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 it's just a cold i'm like what the fuck damn at, at this point i'm like i was hoping it was something a little bit sexier so i can have a better story to tell but yeah no, it's just a cold so we go home go to sleep and then i wake up the next morning and i'm fucked and i'm fucked hard because josh wakes up the next morning pretty okay he's like oh wow i'm feeling great i'm fucked oh so i lost my voice i'm coughing up a storm during the day or right when i wake up and at night and this is where I'm at now. I mean, you sound a whole lot better. Yeah. At least I have somewhat of a voice now, even though it sounds weird. Yeah. 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 I, I've basically gotten to the point where every single time I get a significant cold, I will lose my voice. Yeah. Absolutely fucking oh, yeah. lose my voice. And I hate it because, you know me, I'm a loud and obnoxious bitch. I need to talk. Why, why did you look so serious when I said... Hmm? Oh, I'm just making eye contact with the camera oh. because it's polite oh okay totally yeah, yeah yeah so when i lose my voice it hurts because you know i like to talk i like to talk to my friends in work right sometimes 
I look at your number and your name pop up on my phone. And I think to myself, should I have just kept this a work friend? You know, just like a a work colleague. But don't you like seeing my little beaver? Oh, that's right. Phrasing? No, I set my my contact photo to a beaver. So whenever I call someone, it's a little beaver. And he's swimming through the water. And he's it looks like he's holding a leaf like this. Like that. It's like a little sister you never wanted, you know? I kind of know that. Yeah. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> family humor. Speaking of family, so my sister texted me, right? Mm-hmm. She texted me last week. She sent me a picture of a Stanley cup. If you guys don't know what a Stanley cup, oh it's God. basically a fucking five pound weight on a handle that people carry around that white women love. Like soccer middle, moms. Especially. Soccer moms. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's the new cool thing. Remember yeah. how uh, those, it's cute, and I oop, and I oop. Oh, those, yeah, yeah. those like, uh, the, the hydro flasks. Hydro flasks. flasks. Hydro flasks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stanley's used to be like, from what I heard, the working man's cup. You know, like. They, they still are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for some reason, middle America, especially white people and stay at home moms and stuff, have taken it and they are fucking crazy about it. Like, there's tons of TikTok moms that have walls full of different Stanleys. And you might think to yourself, like, oh, do different models have different. No, they're just different fucking colors. Yep. That's all. Anyways, so. I was going to say, I have one yeah. that I got from a uh, influencer care package or oh. something like that. But the interesting thing about this one is it doesn't have a handle. So oh. I don't use it. Oh. Huh. Well, okay. So my sister sends me a picture of a Stanley. It's like a black and iridescent one. Cute. And then like she sends it to me and I respond immediately. I'm like, don't get this. Like, it's the most basic fucking bitch thing ever. Like why and it leaks like my best friend has one it's stupid to carry like such an awkward weight to carry you know like at least with the 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 hydro flask you have the handle on top so you can carry it and it's balanced this one you just hold it on the side it leaks it falls over it's dumb whatever i'm going on and on about it and then she responds with i ordered it for you because i know you need to drink more water and it's already on the way to your house and i can't cancel it Did you text back and say, fucking idiot? I can't do that to her. She's the softest girl in the whole entire world. So I responded with, oh, oh, I mean, oh, that's so sweet. She's like, I know you need to drink more water because you're terrible at drinking water. So I got it for you. I'm like, oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. No, I'll use it every day. I'm making it a point to use it on my stream. Like it's just my stream cup now. And I felt fucking awful awfully i felt fucking awful anyways that's my new favorite cup thanks sam i love you You're oh did you best. get it yeah oh and you know what it actually came with the perfect time because you know how, like mugs don't keep your tea hot enough when you're sick yeah, yeah, yeah it only keeps it hot for like two minutes this one's for like like two hours so it's good oh that's good, that's good. okay so it's like asian tier heating oh uh, yeah 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 it's that's pretty good because i remember like God, for some reason in uh, high school, it would get really cold because I went to high school up in like Mountain View where it's closer uh, to yeah, the bay. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it's it's the not nice. exactly bay, but it's closer to the bay than like where I was in San Jose. Yeah. And it, it would just get randomly cold. And we all had lunch outside. So Outdoor school. Right? Yeah. I would try to pack like, uh, it, would, it was like hot. It wasn't tea, but it was like hot chocolate or like hot whatever. And none of the thermoses worked. Unless we got them at Mitsua. Those Japanese people, man. They fucking know what to do with technology. You, you could have used a Stanley. Fuck Stanley. <laughs> I'm using I mean, a Michiko. No. They're great. Stanleys are wonderful. Their, their I thermos love them. is the thing they're most famous for. Like oh. the old construction oh. thermos. That's a Stanley. Yeah. So wait a second. Does that mean that Japanese tier heating? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to construct this in my head. Yeah, we probably left them there after World War II. What? Oh, never mind. That's probably where they got the technology from after we bombed the shit out of them. And then we came and invaded and they're like, oh, look at these things they left behind. It's Stanley. So you're saying that they walked up to like whatever the fucking shell was for the nuclear bomb and went, oh. Stanry. Stanry. But what if we make a Somos? I can do it. I'm Japanese. It's been uh, top of the line thermoses since 1913. <laughs> I can do it. I'm Japanese. 
1913. Oh, Since shit. 1913. Would you like it? Hot or cold? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of Ollie, I started playing the new Yakuza game. <laughs> and the way they speak English in that game is so fucking funny are you is it with a japanese dub or is it an english dub uh i do it with japanese dub on stream good it was english because i didn't want the people to have to read boo i know but there's this game there's a mini game where you deliver food mm. and you're trying to do and they're called super crazy delivery is it jokes about asian drivers no it's because like their thing is like we like to do tricks and stuff on our delivery bikes because there's super, super crazy delivery. <laughs> Super crazy what? Super crazy delivery. <laughs> Super crazy delivery. It's not even that. Like the syllables are all. It's just Super crazy delivery. Yeah. Super crazy delivery. Oh my god, dude. You know what? Like people gotta give Japan more credit. All the crazy shit that they come up with. Like, have you seen their porn? Okay, let me tell you about the first human porn that I've ever seen, all right? Because I didn't really understand it when I saw it. But after I watched it, I think it changed the way. I th Honestly, I think it made me asexual for a little bit. Um, okay, so I was on, I can't remember if it was Newgrounds or some random website that was like Newgrounds adjacent. But it had like an anime game on the side. And of course, I was like, I'm going to click on it because I want to see what happens. So I clicked on it. It took me to a porn website. And this video just starts playing. And it's this japanese woman who's like naked and she's got her legs like spread don't like this demonstrate all you don't she's gotta, got her legs spread like this i all can right? just imagine it so you like don't this have to and she has like there's a bunch of japanese men around her right so she's got one on each side and they're each like holding her hand like oh like oh like this like well i mean it's kind of like cover it up I'll just I, okay it's kind of like there's japanese there's naked Japanese ladies here. So I think that also kind of works. So they're like, oh, oh, good job. Gambare. Gambare. They're gambare. holding her hand and cheering her on? Well, because you don't know what's going on. So it's the same gambare on each side. And then one person is like stroking her head. Like, gambare. Like, you could do this. You could do this. And then there's a bald Japanese man between her legs. And he's trying. They're trying to shove his entire head into her vagina. And I didn't understand it at the time, but looking back, I think that it was like a fake vagina because I can't think of any other way that a giant like bald guy's head would fit in there. But that was the first porn that I've ever seen. It's a human birth in reverse. Well, I don't think it was human birth because I think he was just trying to put his entire head in there. And I don't know why. You know, that would make me asexual, too, if that was the first right? porn I've ever seen, you know? Although, yeah, close your legs. You can close it now. I Yeah. Thank you. I feel like, because I've watched hentai before, and hentai's fine, because it, hentai's easier to understand, because there's a tentacle, and there's a girl, and, you know, the rest of the story is already written. But whenever real people are doing it, it just makes me uncomfortable. Did you know people can do it standing up? It's fucking wild to me. Did you just discover this or what? How? No, no I don't read about how. it online. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they can do it standing up. Although, like, when you're, if you have, like, tight hamstrings, it's really hard for a woman. Because, well, are you standing or do you have to bend on can, something? Can you touch your toes? No. There you I go. can't that's, even. There's your problem. Yeah. I can't even, like, I, I can touch. I Is can, that that little, little John song? Yeah. Bend over to the front and touch your toes. I can oh, touch my. <laughs> I can only touch my calves. I can't touch my ankles even, so it's very hard for me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of little John songs. So Did might you just involve sex it? and drugs. There she is. Yep, she figured it out, finally. Little John, if you're out there, I'm sorry it took this long. like a pro Probably like a decade for her to figure it out. It's fine. There it's are, okay. There are some yeah. songs <laughs> that I listen to now. Did you know that... In middle school in seventh and eighth grade. I just know whatever is coming out next is gonna be the dumbest shit. Was. I was on my student council. Of course, a fucking. Of course. I was the activities coordinator. Of course. Uh, for two years, the first year I was actually kicked off towards the end of the year. What did um, you do? God, you have always been like a producey coordinating. That's really cute. Oh, V, that's adorable. It's called, my parents told me that I need to have a strong work ethic, and if I don't, I'm not gonna amount to shit in life. I mean, and they are very experienced in labor 
camps. Yes, they are. Neither of them have been it's, to those, but it's that's in, in their, their blood. blood. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, meanwhile, my grandparents, who actually did experience wartime encampment, they're chill. I mean, they earned it. That's always the wildest fucking shit to me when people are like, oh, why doesn't anyone in your family speak Japanese? Like, well, you're just a fucking weeb. Why are you the only one who speaks a little bit of Japanese? And I'm like, motherfucker, it was beaten out of my grandparents. Yeah. It was literally beat. The Japanese was beaten out of them. Yeah. And when my mom was going through high school, people were still saying ching chong to her. Oh, yeah. Like. And now she says it to people. And now she <laughs> says it to people. Right. I'm sure like at some point I should be like, oh, you know, well, my mom was bullied. So I, I understand why, you know, maybe the cycle of bullying would continue or something. But it's like, bitch, you're in your 50s or 60s now. Yeah. Let's maybe drop the ching chong. I hope one day your mom says that to me. I, I like I. She would never. She Aww. would never. She would never say it to your face. She'll say it behind your back, but never to your face. She'd say, "Oh, well, here's the thing, Avali. I like the good ching chongs. <laughs> it's the ones that disrespect their their parents, the changs. We don't like those." Asian parents, and I talked about this this past week too. Asian parents, or my grandparents in this case, are terrible when it comes to remembering your friends' names. They can meet your friends a thousand times, but they'll story. never remember the names, but they will give them nicknames that they remember them by. Oh, like, yeah. oh, the little dark girl. I remember they, they said that about my Filipino friend. The little dark girl. I'm like, yeah, man, whatever. I, I'm like eight. I don't know. Or like the cross-eyed one or the one with the crooked teeth. <laughs> okay, wait. No, that's I like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll one-up you, though. Guess what my Japanese mother called my Japanese boyfriend? His name was Yusuke. You suck? No. She said, haha, your name sounds like cheesecake. And she called my Japanese, my Japanese mother called my Japanese little puppy love boyfriend cheesecake. For a year. I'll do you one better. <laughs> oh no. So my mom is I think she's a fucking narcissist. I really think like she's crazy, right? Uh I had a boyfriend when I was like 16 years old. Okay. And he was friends with like some of my like my cousins and everything, right? So my cousin got married a few years ago, went to the wedding, and you know, my 16-year-old, you know, ex-boyfriend was there with his now wife and kids i'm like oh dude how you been you Cute. know it's awesome and my mom comes up and i'm like hey remember him like i dated him like back when i was like in high school she's like no i don't remember where's the bar okay okay so she's also fucking crazy she drinks okay at the end of the night oh no hold on B before that we're having the reception and it's dinner um what did i say this was okay yeah yeah the wedding not my cousin's wedding it's my aunt's wedding aunt's wedding okay. but she's so close to my age that so i call her cousin whatever it's my aunt's wedding so my sister's or my mom's youngest sister okay okay right so we're all at dinner reception having dinner whatever you know nice classical music <laughs> playing all of a sudden you hear on the fucking loudspeakers or on the on the speakers i'm gonna change your name um michelle hi michelle and it's my mom and she grabbed the microphone from somewhere from the mc or something hi michelle you know for the longest time we thought you were lesbian because you didn't have any boyfriend you don't bring boyfriend home my siblings and i the moment we heard her go michelle we put our forks down we went Oh no! Uh, hold on, just, just to clarify, Michelle was the person getting married. Yes, Good my aunt. Lord, and they thought she was a lesbian. I thought you were a lesbian, you know, and because you never bring a boyfriend home. But okay, remember, no more dogs. Had babies, okay? Because my aunt loves dogs. She has dogs. Bless. And we just sat there. We're like, fucking christ dude um then came like a couple hours of drunken dancing where you, she bends over you see her underwear yeah she's I mean, no. bent over grinding on every single man that she can find there and then at the end of the night i'm saying goodbye to my ex-boyfriend like dude it's so good to see you my mom comes stumbling out runs over to him grabs him on his chest like 
fake crying. I remember you now. Oh, I remember you were such a good boy. You're such a good boy. I remember you. <laughs> and I was like, mom, what are you doing? I remember him, honey. I remember <laughs> crying. And I looked at her. I got like two inches from her face and I went, I don't see any tears coming out. And she goes, and she stops and she goes, stop that. You stop that right now. You stop like telling me to stop. And then my ex-boyfriend's just standing there like, and I look at him like, I'm so sorry. And then I, my other aunts come and grab her and throw her in the car. She ends up vomiting everywhere. Moms are fun. I mean, well, here's the thing. Your mom seems like she'd be fun to party or do really bad drugs with. Meanwhile, my mom would be fun to storm the Capitol with. Matter of fact, where was she in January 6th? You know, that's to be determined. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so funny because like, you know that Dave Chappelle skit when he's a KKK member, but he's black and... That is a really good That's exactly skit. what your mom is. It's a very good... She thought that she could move to Tennessee and be accepted. As a Japanese woman. She's grown up in Silicon Valley her entire life. How which if you're you? looking for fucking Asians, it's Silicon Valley. Yeah. How can you be racist growing up in San Jose? Like, it's such a melting pot. That's crazy. Yeah. I grew up with like... I like, I remember what, you know, like, okay, well, I mean, everyone grows up and they talk about their racist stories here or whatever. Like, oh, when I brought my food to school, people made fun of me. Me? Never had that problem. It's San Jose. I got, I got the reverse oh. where I was getting packed like Uncrustables and my mom would make me a sandwich <laughs> and everyone around me, all of their moms made them homemade dim sum. They made them yakisoba. They made them fucking bento sometimes. The Japanese girls. All of the other. <laughs> oh, sweet. Here's your kalbi. You That's like reversed. packed up. I got reverse racism where they're like, oh, you have Lunchables and Uncrustables. Oh, your parents don't love you. They're like, look at this white people shit. I got fucking reverse. So everything that like I've heard where it's like I was bullied because like you know, my eyes were slanted or I was bullied because I was shorter or, you know, like all these Asian stereotypes, Asian, Indian, like uh, just whatever minority stereotypes. Motherfucker, as the half, the half Asian kid, I was the fucking minority and I was bullied for that. Oh, awfully, you got an A minus on your test and everyone else got an A plus. Oh, don't worry. I'm still your, your I'm sure you're still going to get into a college, a college. That's fucking hilarious. <sighs> Fuck kids. Oh my God. Fuck kids. Wasn't accepted by the Asian kids. Mm -hmm. Wasn't accepted by the white kids. But the nerds, the nerds got me. The nerds are where it's at. You know, like, I, in my high school, I I was a goth kid. But then I also only, like, hung out with the nerds, too, because we all had our Nintendo DSs. Oh, of course. You know? And then I remember, like, these girls came up to me, and they were, like, the the popular Asian girls. like ABGs. Yeah. Asian baby girl. Yeah. And they were like, who do you hang out with during lunch and stuff? I'm like, oh, I hang out with, you know, so-and-so. And they're like, ew, why? Like, why don't you hang out with, like, you know, these people or whatever? I'm like, I like my friends. They're fucking cool. We play yeah. games together, dude. It's fucking awesome. And then one of them grew up to be my financial advisor. Oh, wait, the one who didn't file your taxes? Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> this is, uh, no, no, no. That's my CPA old whatever. Yeah. Okay. This one's fine. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're going to go beat someone up on the playground for you. I know, right? Uh, that's how I was kicked off the student council in seventh grade. Oh, um, yeah. we, we were in the like after school daycare program or whatever. And we were playing on the, Hold what's three? it called? The play set, seventh grade. Okay. Which is 12. 11 or 12. 11, 12. Yeah, yeah, depending on like where you were. And I was in like the big tube with two other people. And I was playing on my Game Boy and they had their Game Boys. And so we were all just playing on the jungle gym. And one of the teachers came up. They're like, what are you guys doing over here? And we're like, oh, we're just playing. They're like, we called everyone else in like <laughs> 10, 15 minutes ago. And we're like, oh, we didn't know that. We just didn't hear the bell. And they're like, okay, cool. Well, called into the principal's office like the next day. I was kicked off. And then the other guy was kicked off the student counts because we weren't being good role models. Oh. But then I just ran again the next year and won. Yeah. So. Dude, I remember I got um, after school detention one time in or i got written up or something in like second grade second grade yeah dude okay i'm still really fucking pissed about this i, I forgot the teacher's name but i'll look it up and i'll find her i'll yeah, fight yeah, her yeah. i remember <clears throat> we had a we had a we had a uh we had a substitute teacher and 
one of the kids like vomited or something i don't know so the teacher had to like hurry her out of class to the bathroom like clean her up or something and while she was gone some of the bad kids in my class were fucking going crazy mm-hmm. and like climbing on the tables and shit and me was like this is too crazy okay me I was like, this is too crazy mm-hmm. we need some order around here so i started running to the principal's office to tell them and so i ran to the office but midway there a teacher stopped me she's like you know you're not supposed to run in in school run here run indoors so she fucking wrote me up and brought me to the principal's office and i was like thanks bitch i could have gotten there sooner and then i got in trouble for that for trying to get help did you tell the principal like hey i was trying to get help no because i wasn't allowed to talk back to fucking like adults or whatever and i can't like because i was you know vietnamese upbringing any sort of defending yourself is talking back and you'll get beat of course so i just didn't say anything and then also i got into a car accident on the way in school to school in middle school like seventh grade and i walked i was in so it was it was it was i came into school late mm-hmm. and the teacher starts yelling at me like why are you late blah 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 you know you're right so i never fucking argued back because i was taught not to oh that's rough i'm gonna go find that principal i'm gonna no the teacher that tattled on me I'm you gonna, should i'm gonna fuck her up did i tell you about the time when the principal- i will dig her grave up and she will be my halloween shit on it. decoration yes go on uh did i tell you when a principal praised me for standing up to a bully on facebook oh what happened is this the rapper the rapper oh my god the rapper boy who had a crush on my sister no that was funny he was too chicken shit to go to a principal this is like when a girl was trying to bully me and i said bitch bet um so this girl was trying to bully me her name was there's a thousand of them i think i could say their name there were three at my school her name was a perva fuck not a perva Perva. it wasn't a perva which usually it's a perva but it was a perva a perva like that pronunciated that way um and so anyway she was like trying to bully me pick on me whatever we're kids i forgive her i don't care but it still makes the story fun um and so i went home and i was like okay what do nerds who know that they can't throw a fucking punch or fight for their lives do you make an html page um like zanga make it all pretty and then you talk shit about them on there oh i wrote a poem I think most people didn't know that was an option, but I wrote a poem. But Gina, my poem was a diss track. Gina, my poem was a diss track. Ali, you said you wanted to stop getting bullied, right? No, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I I had sick rhymes, okay? Because we were learning about poetry in school, and so I wrote some six Shakespearean like A B C A C B D like you know that fucking rhyme scheme. With like the the fucking paragraphs and all those iambic di- pentameter. Iambic pentameter. I was pentameting all over this bitch. He's such a nerd. I love it. <laughs> fucking nerd. Very smart. Um, and so I wrote like this long poem on just on Facebook because you know everyone was using Facebook back then. Um, and I I basically wrote like a poem but a story about how there was a fat dragon named Apula, because that was the nickname that her little brother called her. So I said there was a fat dragon named Apula. There was a knight named Avi, and Avi slayed Apula, and everyone in the kingdom was happy. There were some disses thrown in there that were a little bit too personal, and I'm not going to repeat. Um, I pray to God <laughs> that you still have this poem archived somewhere on Facebook. I'll see if I can find. No, I deleted my Facebook, but I'll oh. see if I can find it because I remember. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the result after I tell you what happened with the principal. Uh, so I show up to school that morning. And before we even start the day, I get called into the principal's office and I'm like, okay, what now? Cause I'm in there like every week or something for some bullshit. Um, so I show up to the principal's office and she's sitting in there crying and I'm like, okay, she's crying. And I walk in and we'll just call her Miss B, the principal. And like Mrs. B is standing there and on her desk is the printed out Facebook post. And I look at it and I'm like, this is going to be a fun conversation. Yeah. So I sit down and Mrs. B goes like, Ovali, did you write this? And I look at her, I go, yeah. <laughs> She's like, why did you write this? And I was like, oh, you know, it's just poetry. I'm just getting some thoughts and feelings. <laughs> you didn't tell him she was bullying you? Oh, no, she knew. Oh, She knew. I said, yeah, no, oh. I said, no, she's 
you know, she's been bullying. This yeah. has been reported. Yeah. I like my parents, you know, my mom is fucking insufferable. Like she tried reporting bullying early okay, on, well, okay. but not even by her, but also there was like another girl who was bullying me like a couple years back. Mm. Whatever. They're kids. I'm, I'm over it. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I mean, she was being mean. So I got my feelings out through this. And then she starts crying and going like, I only ever wanted to be friends, Avali. I just shut wanted the to be fuck nice. Up. I only wanted to be friends, blah, 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 blah. I was like, okay, you're full of shit. Yeah. You're absolutely full of shit. I remember we did like a Disneyland trip for our eighth grade graduation. And they started calling me and two other girls drunken sluts. Because we were acting like drunken sluts, according to them. It was fucking bad. It's whatever, though. And so she starts crying. Mrs. B is like, okay, you can leave. And then she, she's sitting there with me. And she's like, okay, Avli, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. And she takes it. And she tears it up. She tears it up. She's like, there. It's gone. We don't have to do anything with this. And then she goes like, it was actually kind of creative. <laughs> and I go, thanks, Mrs. B. I was learning it in Mr. So-and-so's poetry class. Oh, my God. And then I fucking leave and I go home and I tell my mom what happened. And she's like, oh, no, I saw. I thought it was really good. So I sent it to your grandma and your uncles and the rest of your family. And they all enjoyed it. It's a family heirloom now. Grandma stitched it onto a pillow. Yup. Oh, my God. Yup. I was a... I was... Listen, I was a little stinker. Yeah. I was a little shit kid. But I definitely talked back to people i should have been beaten more by my mother um because once i found out that it stopped hurting i was like oh you can't control me anymore yeah, yeah. um so i started being very talky backy yeah oh i still do it i feel like everyone had remember i at least i do i remember the day when i realized that i was bigger now and it oh didn't hurt gosh. anymore my grandmother hit me and i looked at her and i went <laughs> Is she? <laughs> do it to the camera. Do it to the camera. I looked at her and I went. <laughs> and she screamed. <gasps> she fucking screamed. And then the next day I went up to her bedroom to grab something. Like it was, I think it was like, oh, it's, it was lunch money for school the next day. Whatever. Okay. And she just started fucking going at it at me for no fucking reason. And she hit me again. And I just. <laughs> And I laughed at her again and she got so mad. She started grabbing me and shaking me. And then I shoved her onto the bed. I'm like, get off me. And she started screaming, help me. She's hitting me. I left the family I shortly after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh my. that once you reach that age where you're like, oh, this doesn't really hurt anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can fuck you up. It's like, oh, this is nice. This is nice. I waited a long time for this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't break a hip, granny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I remember um a facebook brought uh, the thought of facebook just rem- uh, made me remember this i remember i was dating a guy in my early 20s or so and this is when i had my following on 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 instagram already mm-hmm. and he was like a streetwear collector or whatever so he bought like a bape jacket off this guy the seller on instagram and the moment he sent the money the seller blocked him and reposted the jacket for sale long story short i found out who it was Found out it was a teenage kid from like San Diego. Found his Facebook and his school mm-hmm. and found his friend. And then I reached out to him and I was like, hey, this is where you live. And this is where you go to school to blah, blah, blah. He freaked out. And then uh, at the end of it, I got his dad's phone number and I got on the phone with his dad and told him what happened. <laughs> and then I posted on Reddit and I got front page. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I love revenge. Por- I love. I love revenge, revenge porn. porn. It was on revenge porn I posted. Let me tell you about this revenge porn that I'm watching right now holy shit it's not real porn right no okay. oh my god gross i cannot okay. watch did you not hear the first story saying, of the like, fucking just, japanese bald man trying I to shove his know. entire head up into a japanese okay. woman's vagina that's true good point it looked like he had hair because she had i got it just Obly. a little bit i got it a little, a little Thank seaweed you. salad oh, a little bit of seaweed. oh my god seaweed this is my nightmare soup. seaweed sake so anyways, about revenge porn, there is a fantastic K-drama that is now on Prime Video. Oh, yeah. Called Marry Mary My Husband. It is one of my favorite webtoons ever. I heard that it actually started as a web novel. So that may be the um, core source material. But they this- just released it all onto Amazon Prime right now. Oh. So it's free to watch if you have Prime on Amazon. But the story is basically about, so spoiler alert for the first episode, which is usually the synopsis. So the story is about a 31-year-old woman named Ji Woo, who 
is dying of cancer, stage four sum, uh, stomach cancer. Um, she doesn't really have any family. Her, uh, both her mother and father are out of the picture. The father passed away. Um, she has a husband uh, who's kind of like neglectful for her, but she has her best friend, Suman, who's always by her side and always has been by her side. So she's in bed, dying of stomach cancer. Um, boyfriend forgot to pay the hospital bill, bills, so she has to go all the way home uh, to get the wallet to pay for the hospital bills. On her way home, she meets a taxi driver, and the taxi driver is like, oh, don't worry. Like, you can you could do it. I believe in you and all this stuff. Um, she walks into the apartment, and she finds her husband fucking her best friend. And not only are they fucking... But they're also talking about waiting for her to die so they can collect the insurance money and purchase a house so that they could go live happily ever after. So she dies uh, or uh, he, they get into a fight. He pushes her and she dies. <gasps> but she wakes up huh? and she's 21 or she's uh, she's ba- she goes back 10 years. So now she's 31. She was 41 before. Now she's 31 uh-huh. in like 2013. And. She isn't married to the boyfriend yet. She isn't Mm -hmm. married to the husband yet. Mm -hmm. Her best friend is still her best friend. But now she has the opportunity to do everything over. Okay. So he like she goes back in time and she like it's basically just her doing things differently now. And so basically she's doing things differently. What she learns is that there's kind of like rules, which I won't get too in depth about it. Mm -hmm. But like in order for her uh, to get like revenge, she thinks she's like. I'm going to make them marry each other. So they're going to be stuck with each other. But what if that turns out great for them? I think you should watch the show. Okay. <laughs> I think you should watch the show. Okay. I'm it down. is the best revenge porn ever. I will say that they made the lead. If you guys have read the webtoon for Marry My Husband, the lead is very like serious, very like mysterious and dramatic and all that stuff. They made the lead super fucking goofy. Oh, okay. But I think they did that in a good way. Yeah. Because a lot of the actions that he does could be taken as stalkery, creepy, and just like, oh, like mm. a major ick. So they made him goofy. So all of those moments are like a little bit easier to stomach instead of people going like, why the fuck did he just, why is he with her every single second of the, she turned a corner and he's there? Yeah. What? This is creepy behavior. Yeah. But- but it's cute instead. Yeah, I've been wanting to watch it because I saw you tweeting about it and I've seen people like freaking out about like, this is my favorite webtoon or whatever. So it does sound really fun. It's um, good. They changed the story a little bit from the webtoon. I think people said it's closer to like the web novel, but it's still fantastic. If you love the webtoon, you will still enjoy the live action. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure. How many episodes? I think they're 16. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Well, remember, each episode is an hour. Oh, fuck me. God, Jesus Christ. So I'm already on episode seven and I started two nights ago. Every time the word webtoon comes up, I always get reminded of the very first webtoon I ever read and that was recently. Oh my God. Is it the one that I have on my bookshelf? Killing Stalking? You have it? Gina, I have... I think the next one gets released. There's more? Well, so you read everything online. Yeah. I'm purchasing the physical copies uh-huh. because in my head, that's how I support the yeah, authors yeah, yeah, yeah. by just purchasing like the books. Yeah. Um. So I am behind. Is the story not over? Oh, the, the story's story over, but over. you haven't. You finished the oh. story. I haven't finished the story, but I have all the books released right now. Look, he's really hot. Unfortunately. <laughs> He's fucking crazy. Oh, he's fucking crazy. He'll, a, he would kill you in a heartbeat. Yeah, absolutely. It's a webtoon called Killing Stalking. It's like a boy love thing, but this is murder, well, dude. Let let me explain it first. Yeah, you explain it. You're better at it. And then remove all the books from my bookshelf. If I ever die, fuck deleting my web history. Burn my bookshelves. <laughs> Burn my bookshelves. Because there's shit on there where I'm like, I should probably tear some of these pages out and burn there are many pl- times in history where books were burnt and we ended up regretting it awfully so i feel like you know this we should just leave it there as like a monument of awfully may gina flower saw one of the books on my bookshelf and asked do you have a nazi fetish because one of the guys is dressed up in a japanese prison uniform and they look a little nazi-ish I did not put that together until Flowers pointed it out, and now I feel bad. So now you see Nazism and everything, like my spider. Well, you're just hyper aware now. Didn't, didn't, uh, what's his face? Hugo Boss did the Nazi uniforms? Hugo Boss. That's why they're so sharp. I mean, yeah, right. Look, 
I'm the uniforms say, fuck. They were nice. The uniforms they, fuck. The you terrible people but those uniforms were fucking but, but amazing the drip, though and, like, the, and the mercedes and the mercedes yeah. and the bmw yeah like, like whoever was in purchasing or whatever you know what i mean terrible yeah oh, they absolutely. couldn't say it couldn't, they say, couldn't it. say it yeah they would get killed yeah but if only that talent was put into something better <laughs> like not genocide there's a lot of things in history where it's like god but it looks so cool personally i love the rising sun flag so much <laughs> Okay, it's so pretty. But what does it what does it represent, Gina? Just really bad stuff the Japanese people did. I was But the there. flag looks fucking cool. It does. I hate that we can't use that flag. It's so fucking cool. I really just want to continue listening to Trapped in the Closet, but now it's by a guy who fucking peed on people and wasn't nice to teenagers. That's the same as the rising flag in Nazi uniform. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think R. Kelly or how it's archer so lost light lost isis you know oh it's yeah like, no, that did suck that did suck ugh. that was the worst part of terrorism it wasn't the beheading of journalists it wasn't the removal of rights to women and you know all sorts of minority groups it's the fact that fucking archer had to change you know just the plot yeah. they lost the plot yeah never forget what they took from us I mean, so, Hugo Boss still exists. So. <laughs> Fuck yeah, they still exist. They're fine. And Mercedes is fine, too. Which is crazy if you think about it. But whatever. It's... So anyways, Killing Stalking is a uh, story about a, a serial killer. Yeah. Uh, no, excuse me. It's about a stalker, a nerdy, scrawny little stalker who uh, has a whole history of uh, abuse issues in the past, um, falls in love with a serial killer and gets Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. And I will, I'm not going to go any further into it. All I can say is I do not recommend reading it. If you're sick in the head, you have already read it. In which case, hit me up and we'll have a discussion. Because a serial killer is stupid hot. Like, he's so hot. But so I decided, like, I kept on seeing, like, little, like, screen grabs of yeah. the guy, Sungwoo. And I was like, wow, this guy's really hot. Mm -hmm. So I decided to find out where it was from. And I looked it up and I read it. And I was like... Well, can't stop now. Like I gotta keep on reading it. And then so I, I posted on Twitter, I was like, I've just I just finished my first webtoon manhwa and it's killing stalking. And people immediately started responding, like, Whoever told you to read that as your first one fucking hates you, bro. Like what the hell is going on? Yeah. It's <laughs> it, it's a rough one. It's a rough one. There's so what's funny is there's this one animated clip that not from killing stalking. But that has been circling the internet. Uh, it, it's old now. I think it's like two years old or something now. Because I remember when it first came out. But everyone was freaking out. Because the 30, 45 second animated clip was promotion material for a hentai. Oh my god, I, I remember not, that. I will not be saying the title. Oh I my god. I will absolutely not be saying the title. Because here's the thing. That hentai is way too extreme. The hentai is way too extreme for people who are new trying to jump into that stuff because it covers it's Ooh, I can't talk about it. It is it is it's advanced darkness. We watched this off camera at G4 when it first came out. I did not show it to you. I did. I, I did showed not it, show to it to Will. you. <laughs> because, because I've read it. Uh -huh. I know what comes next. I know <laughs> what happens. It is not. I think okay. I, I don't wonder, don't research it. I think we're to think about the same thing, right? It was a really high quality, beautiful. Like it looked like an anime movie with intro with the guy right? with the short hair. Yeah, I think so. Right, and it was fucking stunning. I'll tell you what the story is as soon as we end this podcast. Okay. Hey, we're gonna end this podcast now because yep. I got to do some research. So uh, everyone, thank you guys so much for watching yet another episode of Go Joe Bobas. Uh, we to our patrons, um, we are still filming Gina's Jurassic Park stuff, but this bitch was sick. I was sick. So I'm we sorry. Had to postpone it. So blame her. Oh, also to our Discord. Hey, I need help. <laughs> I need to put a reel together. Can you post clips of me that you like from past shows that I've been in, like where I hosted? because uh, I also forget the shit that I've been in so can you guys do that and post it in our discord so I can use it for a real thank you it was Ovli's idea and I feel like it's a great idea and I should do that so if you guys can do that thank you Gina real uh, uh, Gina real contest you can make a reel of Gina for hosting we will give you no money you, but you can make a real but you difference you can do it in a you starving really can 
person's unemployed person's life. Yeah. Democracy. Extorting labor. Woo!